Josh and Nika, we can say we're so excited to see you get married today. I've only known you for a short time, but in that time, I can already see how you complement each other, how you are molding together in a great way. Nika, you carry a real grace about you, something that reflects your family and your cultural background. In our church, it is widely known that Filipinos are some of the nicest people you can meet in the whole world. <laughs> they are respectful, they're loving, gracious, and also dedicated in their faith, passionate in their pursuit of truth. But you also display an inner strength and determination. These values, along with your incredible ability to organize anyone to do anything, with the attention to the finest detail, the traits that will be valuable in your marriage. Josh, if I can say, you're more than meets the eye. On the surface, you're laid back, you're easygoing, willing to sacrifice for others so they can have their preferences at times. The epitome of a gracious man. But I've also observed a humble strength with you. A willingness to carve a path that sees your future wife flourish and thrive. Do you, Joshua Ray Bannister, in the presence of God and these witnesses, take Monica Denise Verai Havalosa to be your wife? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, dedicate yourself to her and her alone for as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you, Monica Denise Verai Havalosa, in the presence of God and these witnesses, Take Joshua Ray Bannister to be your husband? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, dedicate yourself to him and him alone for as long as you both shall live? I do. For a long time, I became all right with the idea of never getting married. But when you came into my life, everything changed. I knew very early in our relationship that we have something very special. From our very first date, I felt so comfortable with you. Granted, it took a little while to admit this to myself, but once I listened to my heart, I knew you were the one that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. I promise to love and care for you, and I will try in every way to be worthy of your love. I will always be honest with you, kind, patient, and forgiving. But most of all, I promise to be a true and loyal friend to you. I love you more than words can express. We started a relationship that was built in trust and friendship. You are all of my closest friends and family, combined into one person, and we began to take on adventures one after the other. As the months went by, our friendship evolved into something else, and that was to become our love story. As we began the biggest adventure of our lives, I promise to be your partner in spontaneity and in enjoying and owning the moment. I vow not only to love you in the highest of mountains, in the loudest of cheers and applause, but also to love you and support you in the deepest devotions. I promise not to go to bed angry, but to talk it out and express my frustration for you. I promise to be ready to Google the answers to your never-ending questions and see life as you do, as a series of beautiful miracles and God's goodness. You are my home and my biggest adventure, and today I can finally say that I have found the one whom I so love. I love you. I give you this ring as a symbol of my unending love. Just as this ring, Just as this ring has, no beginning or end. has no beginning or end, so my love for you, so my love for you is, eternal. is eternal. May it be, May it be an, ever-present symbol. an ever-present symbol of the vows. Of the vows. We have made here today. On the basis of your vows made here today, before God and in the presence of these people gathered here, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.
and may I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Josh and Nika Bannister. Josh, you are my brother. I love you not just because you make my number one so happy, but just for the person you are. It's important to have that together time with somebody, and the more you have that time, it's uh, you get closer, you get to know somebody, you get comfortable. Well, I just, I just look forward to you guys starting this life together and having all those experiences and like getting that closeness together, like. Uh, because it, it's, it's special, it's awesome. And to find somebody that you want to do that with for the rest of your life is uh, it's awesome. So <laughs> that, that's it, that's, that's it. I, um, I love you guys so much. Um, yeah, to, to years and years, a lifetime of happiness to Josh and Nika. Josh and Nika, we couldn't be more proud of the two of you. I mean, moving so far away from both of your families and finding each other and making a life together. But we are very, very proud to have you as part of the family, Nika, and we thank you for bringing both of our families together today. Um, absolutely beautiful ceremony, very touching, very heartwarming, um, very personal. So thank you and we both love you very much and we wish the most for you. A wonderful ceremony today. Um, I don't think I've cried that much before. <laughs> and I kept looking ahead so nobody behind me would see. Anything that we can do to help, please don't hesitate. Josh, welcome to our family. I saw the changes in Nika after she met you. She smiled more and she was less hard on herself. Thank you for loving her. I know you will take good care of her. Nika and Josh have chosen well. I was so happy to know that my daughter was going to get married to a gentleman. He asked me about what I feel about him marrying my daughter. I told him, Josh, I am not losing a daughter, but I am dating a son. Josh, welcome to the family. 